Hello, I'm Jack Krupnik, MD. I'm a board certified emergency physician and I'm the developer of Xeroscope stethoscope barrier devices. Hospital acquired infections affect 10% of hospitalized patients. According to the CDC, 100,000 patients die and $35 billion are spent annually in the treatment of these illnesses. The CDC states that 70% of these infections are preventable. And additionally, 25% of professional liability costs are attributed to hospital-acquired infections. A study produced by the Geneva Institute was recently published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. This study determined that the main culprits of hospital-acquired infections are physicians' fingertips and their stethoscopes. Here is a short clip from the Geneva Institute video. We actually sampled four parts of the hands of physicians. The two eminences, tenar and hypotenar, the dorsum of the hands, the fingertips, together with actually two parts of the stethoscopes. The tube that you are using when you are handling the stethoscope and the membrane of the stethoscope, we performed a total of almost 500 quantitative culture techniques on hands or on stethoscopes. Let me now show you three actual cases in pictures. Case number one, there was almost no contamination except fingertips. Case number two, you see here a density of colonization on fingertips that is much higher that are correlated with a modest but still very significant colonization of the diaphragm of the stethoscope as well as the tube of the stethoscope. Here then see case number three. On case number three it's very remarkable. You see a very high density of fingertips colonization together with a high density of tenar and hypotenar colonization and of course a very high density of membrane or diaphragm stethoscope colonization together with a high density of tube colonization. Let me show you now the key results of the study. On this slide you see colonization of the hands in orange and colonization of the stethoscope in blue. As you can see the density of colonization on the fingertips is very, very high. In blue, you can see that the colonization of the stethoscope membrane is much higher than the colonization of all parts of the hands in orange except the colonization of the fingertips. As you can very well see on this slide, the more the colonization of the hands, and in particular of the fingertips of the hands, the more the colonization of the diaphragm of the stethoscope, a close correlation between the two. The more the fingertips colonize with MRSA, the more the membrane of the stethoscope and the tube of the stethoscope colonized with MRSA. And again, the level and the degree of contamination with MRSA was much higher in the fingertips than on the rest of the hands, similar to the colonization of the stethoscopes. In conclusion, stethoscope contamination is A, not negligible, and B, closely related to levels of contamination of the physician's dominant hand, and this is true both for MRSA and for global counts. It is not negligible because the stethoscope diaphragm is more contaminated than any parts of the physician's hands with the exception of the physician's fingertips. The Geneva Institute study showed that 76% of physicians' fingertips and their stethoscopes were contaminated after a single patient encounter. For 40 years, isopropyl alcohol has been the recommended way to fight this contamination. But there are serious weaknesses in this line of defense. The alcohol washing procedure is lengthy and is routinely skipped by doctors and nurses.
and even when it is done, it is ineffective 30% of the time. Additionally, alcohol damages stethoscope components. If I showed you actually my old stethoscope, a stethoscope that I used for more than 30 years and that I used to actually cleanse, you can see that the stethoscope has been highly damaged. In my 20 years as an emergency room physician, I have recognized the need for a quick and easy solution to the problem. And this is it. The Snap-on Xeroscope Barrier offers 100% reliable protection. Xeroscope is a key link in the universal barrier defense chain. What is the payoff for a universal barrier defense? A 40% reduction in hospital-acquired infections and their associated costs. It costs 10 times more to deal with infections than it does to implement a universal barrier defense chain. Xeroscope is a key component of a complete barrier defense that dramatically reduces liability in hospital-acquired infections. A 150-bed hospital can save over $500,000 by implementing a universal barrier defense. You can find other barrier defense products on the market, but they discourage compliance because they are so hard to use. This product, you put the stethoscope in the bag, and this is how it works. And this product comes in a dispenser, and you peel it off, and you place it on your stethoscope. And with this product, it's 10 layers of plastic that you put on the diaphragm. And then you peel off the outer layer, exposing the next. The 10 layers affecting the acoustics. And this is Xeroscope. Snap on, peel off, and it's ready to use. Xeroscope, snap it on, peel it off, and you're ready to go. Xeroscope provides snap-on convenience, 100% barrier protection, high-quality acoustics, while saving time, money, and lives. Snap on, peel off, and it's ready to use.